on this episode of the People of Pearland podcast. It's got a lot going on. She's very famous, has a lot of... Um, I've always stuff. wondered, like, like I'm sure you have to talk to other people from your class and stuff and be like, how crazy is that? Like, no, you know, yes. like, I've always been curious, you know? No, for sure. Everybody talks about it all the time. Yeah. And it's, you know, they're like, wow, she's, like, famous. Stay tuned for more. Welcome, everybody, to the next episode of the People of Pearland podcast. Hello. We have, that's Shelby, Shelby Shelby, Lowe, very special guest with us, joining us today on this fantastic episode. First Um, episode of the year. First episode. We don't, we know, we don't date our episodes, so we know, you know, it is January 2024 for anybody who's keeping track. Sorry. Um, But it doesn't matter. You can listen to this episode whenever, (laughs) whenever you want, wherever. However, it is available on Spotify. Yep. Uh, Apple. (laughs) What's the... What's Apple iTunes? Podcast. There you go. Apple Podcasts. Thanks, Shelby. <laughs> Google Podcasts. YouTube. On our website. Website. <laughs> um, City. Of- oh, no. Oh. Everybody. Right. Everybody screws Thanks up. Thanks for coming, me. Shelby. <laughs> Appreciate you being here. Good night, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Shelby. Shelby Lowe. Yes, my name is Shelby Lowe. Um, I go by my maiden name uh, because my, me and my husband actually have the same first name. That um, I I can't wrap my head around that. Yeah. Um, so oh, <laughs> tell us about if it's not too personal. Uh, when you met, was it like you're Shelby? I'm Shelby. Like how did that? <laughs> so how did that transaction? Actually, um, I so. Uh, to bring it back to Pearland and how me and my husband met, because he's actually from the Cypress area. But um, I worked at the Pearland Rec Center okay. in, for Pearland Parks and Recreation oh. in high school and college. Oh, my gosh. And right on. my best friend um, that I met there, it, so apply for Parks and Rec jobs. You'll meet your best friend <laughs> for life, you know? Um, but no, um, she. I met her there, and um, she was, we were, you know, in college and stuff. She met her future husband and she was like, hey, he has a best friend named Shelby. I have a best friend named Shelby. He's a dude. You're a girl. Like, <laughs> I, y'all, get along, I, y'all get along great. Y'all have a lot in common. Let me introduce y'all. Yeah. And we were introduced. We started dating. We dated for a year and then we got married. Whoa. Man, that's that's cool. amazing. Yeah. Don't tell my wife that story. Um, <laughs> she didn't. <laughs> neither. Yes. <laughs> He, my wife and I met in college. Well, we've known each other since the fifth grade. We're both from Pearland. Um, and um, was it fifth grade? We, had, we were in the same class in fifth grade. Um, and it took me a while to getting around to the marriage part, <laughs> which she still is a little grumpy about. <laughs> um, and I've always argued that I was confident that we were going to be together forever so there's there's no need to rush nice. you know yeah. we're, we're meant to be together uh but she doesn't see it like that so <laughs> if you ever meet my wife and anybody is listening to this please don't don't bring that up it's gonna a very send sore this, subject. gonna send this right to her <laughs> yeah. that's what i'm gonna do <laughs> so uh how long have you been uh uh, uh mrs shelby uh, <laughs> I have been Mrs. Shelby Walsh. Um, no, but um, since we got married in 2018. Oh. Um, so, yeah, it's, uh, we're going on. Um, almost six years. Yeah. Yeah. Man. I only knew that because I started working here in 2018. So, that's, I'm not keeping track of your married life. Right. I'm sorry. No, no. Uh, yeah. Good year. Um, yeah. Well, no. Yeah. Year. yeah. So, that's from awesome. Pearland? I am from okay. Pearland. Um, so, uh, I moved here with my parents in 1999. So, I've nice. lived here. Okay since i've been old enough to go to school yeah yeah um what schools uh i went to rustic oak first okay all right and then i went to pearland junior high west and south Um, oh interesting mm. yeah never east never east yeah unfortunately i have a lot of friends that went to east yeah this is the best east was not the least no it was not (laughs) let's get there no okay (laughs) all right all right (laughs) and then i went to pearland high school Okay. Nice. All right. So, um, I was in the first class that went to Rustic Oaks. That's amazing. I, huh. that was so cool. That was the, the year it was so built, uh, they started us at, um, Jameson. We were in okay. the portables yeah. at Jameson. And when the school was done, we moved over, uh, I have very vivid memories. In fact, 
that was the year I was playing soccer in PE and Jason French, y'all don't know who he is. He's a giant of a human being. He's still like, I don't know. He's probably like six, five now. Uh, but we were facing off on the soccer field and he kicked the ball square into my face. Like, you know, you ever get hit, hit with a ball so hard, it's it makes totally, your ears yeah. ring. And yeah. you're just like, <laughs> that's one of my most vivid memories from that year. Man. Yeah. Oh, Stuck with you all this it, time. Oh, yeah. Man, no, that's, that's, that's like a cool memory right <laughs> yes, there. Yes, no, for sure. But that was a great school. Yeah. It is a great school. And actually, we just moved kind of back into that area. So oh. my daughter is going to be able to start going to school. Oh, that's right awesome. Here. That's amazing. Well, that's yeah, cool. I had like a picture of like me at Rustic Oak. And yeah. And, yeah. Know, kind of like a throwback, you know? That's fantastic. Um, so you like that area? I grew up in that area as well, too. I do absolutely love that <clears> area. Um, I'm living in the extraterritorial jurisdiction. Mm -hmm. The ETJ? Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, That's where my family's from. Yes, yes. Um, but I do like being in that part of um, Fairland. Okay. Sure. We were, uh, well, I say we were, my family is still um, down on the end of Westfield. Um, so uh, sort of if you're looking at like where Russ Gokes is, it's like Caddy Corner all the way down uh, yeah, exactly what you're talking about. at the end. So there's a big gate at the end. Uh, we're right before that big gate. We're not the big. <laughs> we're not the big gate. Yeah, no, no, no. It's a, it's a subtle little property off to the side. My grandfather bought it in the 60s. Oh, that's wow. crazy. Yeah. That's Can you awesome. imagine? When none of that stuff went through back yeah. then. Right? Yeah. No, no, that's so crazy. That's a fun area back there, though. It is really fun. <clears throat> you're familiar with? So, one of it's, my yeah. earliest memories uh -huh. as a child is from La Casita. Yes, always. Um, yeah. We used to have our own table uh, oh. in the old restaurant, not the one that's there now, the one next to it. Oh, yeah. So, right. if you're looking at the building, the building to the left of it is. Yeah, yeah. It was much darker in there. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we go there. Um, if you next time you go, uh, look at the tables. There's a uh, an ad on the table for Lee's Landscaping. Lee's Landscape. Uh, ah. That's uh, that's my family's. Awesome, yeah. awesome. I'm gonna look out for that. Now. I yeah. love it. Small town. That's like his like honor to take all of us to La Casita when we like first start. Like that's yeah. the spot. So two choices: yeah. La Casita or Red Top. Red Top. Yep. Oh, that's great options. Yep. Yes. Whenever yep. we moved over there, I was like telling my husband, and we went and ate over there. You know, a lunch because yeah. Some places to eat. Yep. Uh, so, uh, so you're familiar with Red Top. I mean, it's a yes. Friendswood location. We probably shouldn't be talking about it on a Paraland podcast, but you know, <laughs> uh, the the food doesn't stop. No, nope, it does not. Uh, so, what's your what's your go to at Red Top? Oh, a cheeseburger with the French fries. Okay, amazing. All right. Have you ever tried the sour cream and onion fries? No, they have sour cream and onion. They're oh, really good. Oh, yeah. yeah, they okay, are. I'm ordering that next time. Magical. Uh, and probably don't tell Lee that you know me because he'll <laughs> harass you. Um, <laughs> it's, a, it's a weird relationship. But, uh, <laughs> they also have really good, um, their spring rolls are very, very good. I was interested to try them. Yep. So sour cream fries. Egg rolls. Yep. Next uh, spring rolls. Okay. Yep. Ask them. They, they usually make them fresh. His mom makes them. Okay. Um, but, uh, and they're, they're uh, Vietnamese egg rolls. They're actually really good too. Oh, um, so. Uh, what a cool place. I know. It's <laughs> what a yes. great place. It's such a unique spot. Yeah. Um, for sure. it, I mean, I, that's my like go-to burger joint for sure. Yeah. Yes. Um, I don't, so I don't like to go anywhere else. <laughs> Very cool. So that's a, I mean, really small world. Yeah. That's kind of crazy. So you, you were at the rec during, you said college, high school? Yeah. Okay. So I worked there in high school and in college. What um, did you do? Were you a rec attendant or I, were you a? I was a rec attendant. That's okay. what I did. I worked there for like four ish years. Um, came back briefly during college uh, for a stint as a summer camp counselor. Oh, nice. I absolutely loved working with Mary Kate. You know, yeah, like, yeah. Working with all the entire rec crew was amazing, especially during those young years of my life and uh, really taught me a lot, you know, not just about the city, but also just about work. And, yeah. Uh, you know, interacting with people daily. It was a great experience. What did you, where'd you go to school? Um, for college, mm -hmm. I went to Alvin Community College and then I went to the University of Houston and I actually worked at the University of Houston's rec center as well. Oh, oh nice. Awesome. What'd you major in? Like what's your, um, so what'd you want to do when you were growing up? <laughs> um, still trying to figure that out. Uh, what I do aren't yep, we all? always? <laughs> so I did general studies at ACC or Alvin Community College while I was trying to figure out what I was doing with my life. And then 
um, whenever I was at U of H, I was uh, majoring in psychology and I'm still just trying to figure out what I want to do with my life. Yeah. I for sure um, love working for city government. So um, why? Yeah. I love working for city government because uh, I get to have, I feel like a direct impact on the citizens of Pearland. Um, I know how much of my life growing up was impacted by things that the government, you know, the local government did um, and also the school districts. And so it was probably going to be one or the other that I wanted to go back into and kind of just give back to the community. Yeah. 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 I talk about that a lot uh, and people hear it a lot, I think on this podcast. Um, but, you know, we always end this with the why, you know, uh, why do you do what you do? Why are you, you know, here? Why did you even sign up for this in the first place? Right. It's a little crazy. Um, but for me, it's kind of the same, you know, this community raised me. And so, um, I appreciate the opportunity to be able to invest back into that. Mm-hmm. Uh, and it's why I do, you know, rise mentoring, uh, because I see kids like myself that, you know, I, it probably would have been a good thing for me to have a mentor when I was, um, tearing things up around <laughs> here myself, because, you know, I wasn't the best kid. Um, and, (laughs) but, uh, you know, um, this is such a a special place for me personally, because, um, I wouldn't be who I am if it weren't for, you know, apparently. And I mean, Joe. Yeah. Same for me. Born and raised. My parents still live in the same house that I was growing up (laughs) in. So it's like kind of crazy to see, um, the, it was, um, I was raised in Southtown right over there by the West. Pearland Community Center. And uh, it's crazy to think that nothing was over there, like my entire childhood, you know, and and then came back from college and all of a sudden there was like Shadow Creek Ranch and Town Center and all this kind of crazy stuff. Yeah. And I just, you know, it's just kind of crazy to see all of that just thrive, you know, so it's, it's been fun watching. Yeah. Yeah. And so how long have you been? So you've been to the city of Pearland, I guess, a couple of times now. Uh, how long has this stint been for you? Yeah. Or you when did you start here? I started here in July of 2020. Um, okay. So, yeah, I've been with community development um, since then. Yeah. Wow. Um, oh, wow. It feels I didn't like realize we started longer. the same year. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I think I started huh. right after. Oh, wow. Know, like my picture. My head oh, my gosh. Okay. okay. So, yeah. Crazy. All right. Wild. Yeah. Uh, I don't know why I thought you were here longer. I I, I thought yeah. you were too, honestly. I just yeah, no, I You just settled know. right in. Yeah. You're like, man, this is mine. <laughs> this is it. Yeah. Uh so what'd you do before? Before um here I did a couple different things. Um, besides just working at the rec center. I um after coming back from U of H, I worked with Keep Carolyn Beautiful as a program for well, I was an intern and then they asked me to become a program coordinator. Yeah. And yeah. I was Awesome. I absolutely loved working for that nonprofit. And then uh, I did, I parented for a little bit. And mm. then I um, also was a marketing manager at Chick fil A during the pandemic. Whoa. Interesting. Which Chick fil A? The ones here in? Um, the one on Dixie Farm. So East okay. Carolina. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Yeah. yeah. That's, uh, that's the one that always pops up on the top of the app for me because um, it's the one, you know, living friends would work yep. here swing by to pick up the team breakfast every once in a while. So I get all my points. It's yes. just, it's, they're good breakfast. points. They're you good points. Have the points <laughs> yeah. Sure. Um, what was it like working at Chick-fil-A? Was it, I mean, you, you're a pretty like bubbly, positive person. I feel like that, you know, yeah. So actually, that's a natural yeah, reaction for you. Worked for the city of Fairlane twice, worked for Chick-fil-A twice as well. Chick-fil-A was my first job. Um, the one that, that the original, yeah. no, oh. the original Chick Fil A in Pearland on uh, near uh, the home oh yeah 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 um, um, by so, Silver Lake yeah uh, yeah yeah West oh uh-huh. yeah 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 and um, then yeah I worked for this Chick Fil A at the East Side um, and you know, we say end now not side oh because there's sides to a coin there oh. ends oh yeah right. yeah that's right. I like that. Yeah. The mayor came up with that. I can't, I can't I take any credit for that whatsoever. <laughs> yeah. Um, so on the East end, there you I, go. Was on, uh, I worked at that Chick-fil-A. So um, absolutely love working for Chick-fil-A. Their customer service was amazing. Yeah. And um, I think I really learned a lot of my people skills working there. But also their food is just delicious. So yeah. funny story. And it's a side conversation I've had with Kathleen because we've both worked with you on like P and Z meetings and stuff. And there's been times where we're setting up and you're getting like something ready. And I like, I forgot you did something or you told me the food was ready. I was like, Oh, thanks so much. Shelby. And he said, my pleasure. <laughs> yeah, this is my good, bad habit. Everybody's always like, when they find out I work, I 
I used to work at Chick Fil A. Yeah. It makes sense. My pleasure. Yeah, I was like, huh. I wonder if there's a background there. Yeah, yeah. makes sense. <laughs> but that is fantastic. And I mean, that's the thing. Being in communications, doing marketing stuff. I mean, that we use them as a staple. Yeah. For branding, especially. Oh, I mean, for just sure. the consistency that they have. Yep. You yes. know, we want to be like Disney or Chick Fil A because. They're just so good at it yeah. and it shows, I mean, you know, they, it's really, a, it's baked into the DNA. I mean, everybody lives and breathes it. Right. Yeah, for sure. And I think that's why I enjoy too working for the city of Pearland. It's like y'all's, what y'all's team does. Y'all are so good at marketing and branding the city, you know, pairs, yeah. you know, and all the <laughs> sayings and everything, you know. For the viewers at home, cause you can't see us. Um, Shelby is wearing pear shaped earrings and I have to ask what's the so, did you did, i need yeah. a story please yes my pear-shaped earrings i wore those uh today to you know um to represent pearland uh, yeah. but whenever i was working at keep pearland beautiful oh, we yeah. actually started um at, during my time there the youth environmental council and so one of the students that was on it she made me these as a gift out of polymer clay that is fantastic like, what they're my most prized possession one of my most prized yeah so, yeah that's, that's amazing. awesome yes. i love that i never get tired of the pear puns and the pear always things. oh yeah yeah prepared to love it whenever yeah. that was a thing i was <laughs> yeah. like all about it. Yes. I have in my office um, a it's a glass pair uh, that they uh, I, I think they did it at the Nap Center. Mm. They made terrariums in these glass pair, and I call it a terrarium. Oh my goodness, I love it! <laughs> like I just, I mean, it's one of my favorite things that's in my office, uh, yes. and it's thriving. It's it is. actually that like thing bursting is. at the yeah. seams now. That's awesome. Uh, so I, I have. Um, <laughs> home. I have quite a bit of yes, paraphernalia. <laughs> that actually just came to me. <laughs> so I, I was like, have you been sitting on that one? <laughs> that was really good. I wish I, I could that. say that. No, but uh, <laughs> anyways, uh, so yeah, apparently it's we're all for sure. It's uh, knowing that I'm going to have a direct impact on her generation yeah. and you know, generations to come um, yeah. really is a, a reason why I wanted to come back. Yeah. Yeah. I always joke that, um, you know, I'm, I, we lived in Dallas for about 10 years and then came back. So we really didn't make it all that far. <laughs> uh, but my joke has always been that my wife wanted to move north. And I said, Dallas is about the cutoff because after that's Oklahoma. It yeah. <laughs> was just kidding. I love Oklahoma. It's very pretty up there. I'm just, you know, yeah. I'm a homebody. I'm that's not, right. you know, my dad moved about a mile from where my grandfather lived. Uh, and then I moved about a mile from that. So, yeah, uh, <laughs> that's, right. that's yeah. definitely how we are too. It, and just being, yeah, close to family, you know, our family still lives here. My mother in law just moved down and became a Fairlander. So. Nice. Okay. So, you're actively recruiting people. Love it. Yes, actively recruiting people. Is that to help <laughs> with the tax base or? Uh, no, there's no incentive okay. <laughs> that I'm trying to crush or do yeah. that. But uh, I just love Fairland, you know? Yeah. And especially having my family live here is true. Sure. Yeah. So we haven't talked about this at all. Um, what do you do here for the uh, city? Thank you oh, for asking yes. me. <laughs> I'm an administrative assistant with community development. Previously, <laughs> I was um, supporting administratively mm. the planning division. And now I will be. And what does planning do? They do. Planning, they plan, plan. what the city is going yeah. to be like. Yeah. Um, and they ensure. Which is huge. Like, that's yeah. so important. Right, right. No, you know, it, even we we're just we're working on the comprehensive plan and, you know, um, future land use plans and, uh, you know, zoning and all of that. It really does make a difference on how the city has turned out thus far right. and then what it will, will look like in the future. The future. Yeah, yeah. It's pretty cool. That's such a hard thing. And I was thinking about I think about this a lot because, um, you know, I have ADHD, uh, something along those lines. I, I I struggle to predict, you know, to see what five years, 10 years, 15, 20, 25 years looks like in the future. Um, but to, to build the community that we want now and into the future requires extremely intentional and painstakingly um, articulated long range planning, yeah. you know, yes. 25 years and beyond. Uh, and I'm so impressed by everybody that, that is involved in that because, uh, it, I mean, I, I don't know how you, 
how you do that with any confidence whatsoever. Right. No, for sure. And to see, you know, our planners um, do what they do and be able to have that perspective is, is it's impressive. Yeah. Um, yeah. And so the, the fact that I get to assist them and support them, um, you know, it makes it great every day because they're passionate about what they do. And so in return, just bleeds over to the rest of the department. Yeah. That's a, it seems like a pretty fun department uh, to work and you have some, some real characters, I feel like. For sure. Yes. <laughs> yes. Um, you know, a lot of people think we're just doing permits or, right. you know, telling people no, but it really is so much more that goes into it. It's truly amazing to see. Um, I do because we're close to the community and I actually had this conversation with a couple of Pearland residents the other day, three Pearland residents specifically, they're friends sort of friends of friends and we were getting together to watch a football game. Uh, so I wasn't working and still they were like, permitting sucks, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, y'all like y- you have to do the thing. There's a reason for, reason it. for it. Everything. Yeah. Exactly. Right? And so definitely even with permitting and planning, you know, you want uh, uh, people and people that live in a community, they want their property protected. And yeah. we're also, you know, protecting lives by doing what, you know, Absolutely. The, not only what permitting is doing, but development services and planners. Yeah. So, yeah. And, and there's so much development still in Pearland that's <laughs> happening, right? Yes. It's it, because we have developed so much and Pearland's not a small town. You all know this. Yes. Yeah. It used to be. Um, but even still, there's still so much um, new businesses coming in, um, rezoning a property. And then there's also um, a lot of infill spaces that mm-hmm. um, can still be know developed into yeah anything um is there anything coming into this job specifically uh that caught you by surprise that you didn't um you weren't anticipating what's the what's the most surprising thing about the work that you do would it be appropriate to say everything (laughs) (laughs) yeah (laughs) yeah right because i'm not a planner i don't have a planning background uh my boss um, that hired me, he said, you are a local resident and you know how to do administrative work. And so you got the job and I was yeah. like, great, cool. Um, so to see the things that I did see develop all throughout growing up and kind of knowing the reason why now it's like a puzzle was put together. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I truly have really enjoyed um, getting to understand the whole process of, you know, rezoning, planning, all of that. I bet you're the life of every party. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, I find myself and uh, I did it the other day and I'm trying to remember who I think it was to my uncle. So my uncle uh, lives in the ETJ uh, extraterritorial jurisdiction there as well. Uh, and uh, you have an emergency service district there, right? So you pay 10 cents per $100 valuation for police and fire services. Uh, and he made a comment about, you know, that being an additional tax. And uh, so it got me into the, well, you know, it's a subsidized tax because it costs us more than that to run the services. And before we weren't being compensated at all. And so it was being subsidized by Pearland residents. Right. Uh, and just, you know, eyes glazed over because I went way too far <laughs> on this tangent. Uh, but... <clears throat> I take for granted that I know more about a lot of the things than a lot of the people do. Uh, And it's a, it's such a specific local government. It's such a specific industry. Yeah. And it's so dry and it's so important. Yeah. You know, it's, it's hard to, it's hard to marry those things up and make it something that people want (laughs) to want to pay attention to. Yeah, For sure. Yes. No, I completely agree with that. Uh, my family, whenever I start talking about like zoning or plans or plots, they're like, cool. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And then I'm like, wait, let me break it down for you. And then they're like, okay, that actually makes sense. Yeah. So, yeah. Just kind of making sure. That's so fun. Yes. I'm glad we're not the only ones. No, we're not. Yes. Yeah. No, Local no. government nerds. Yes. <laughs> yeah. It's uh I sit back and think, I'm like, man, I know so much more about all of this than I ever anticipated myself to, you know, like it's I'll be honest, before I worked in local government, I didn't it wasn't on my radar. Right. It wasn't you know, I paid my taxes and I didn't uh didn't I wasn't involved, you know, in the <clears throat> city council or and I didn't go to public meetings, yep. you know. Um and now that I've been on this side of it, I don't know why more people aren't 
engage. Yeah. Yes. Right. No, Cause it is sure. so, we talk about this a lot, just the levels of government. I, I firmly believe that local government is the most impactful, the most effective and the fastest moving. Yeah, yeah for sure. I completely agree with that. It's going to affect your daily life for yeah. sure. And whatever, area right you whether yeah. it's an emergency whether it's you know zoning that's happening around you you know you're yeah it's every single day you're yeah. affected by this all it's the crazy. time it's so fun it is i fun. love it yeah. so so <clears throat> excuse me do you i guess what do you see for yourself in the future you you're uh you're gonna stick with the city or what's your what's your plan yeah, what's so shelby up to my future plans <laughs> thank you for asking um or i plan to hopefully stay with the city i'm still uh i'm it's fun being an administrative assistant right because no day is the same um i'm i'm at duties other duties as a yes is my job title yes and so um really just trying to take advantage of that at the moment and see uh what i enjoy doing you know um trying to learn what other people are doing in different departments yeah. and kind of seeing where I want to go next. But I definitely want to stay with in the city of Maryland and hopefully move up. Yeah. yeah. Love it. It's awesome. What, uh, what does Shelby do outside of work? What's your, uh, what's your passion? My passion outside of work. Well, so I have, I do have my five-year-old daughter, Ellen. And so um, that's a lot. Oh, Ellen. Yes. I love that name. Thank you. I appreciate <laughs> it. Um, she, uh, so we're, totally in the middle of girlhood right now. So we love Barbie. We love pink. We love yes. friendship bracelets. We love Taylor Swift. So we are just being girls right now. Yeah. You know? Is she so doing dance or gymnastics or MMA or? Yeah, she's actually in gymnastics, but speaking of MMA, I should probably do <laughs> that for her. I, I have a place that I recommend. Okay. Awesome. Um, awesome. My, my yeah. youngest son, he's nine now, but uh, he started a year and a half ago, two years ago. And we tried every sport. Um, <clears throat> and it was really the only one that he mm. kind of, uh, you know, snapped to and was like, oh, yeah, no, this is and he, the first time he did sparring in MMA. Uh, he was a little nervous and he got done and he came over to me and he's like, Dad, I realize it's okay to punch people here. <laughs> like, yeah, it's, you're padded up. It's, you know, it's a safe space to do that. Obviously not outside of these walls, right. uh, but it's been a game changer for sure. So yeah. I, I encourage everybody to at least give it a shot and, uh, and try it out. If they yeah. can, but no, gymnastics sure. is fun too. Yes, oh it's, yeah. It's super <clears throat> fun and just, yeah. She loves it. And I love watching her do it. So, yeah. yeah. I feel like five is a fun age. Um, you're like getting into that, like they're about to start going to school or they're in preschool or, you know, they have their adorable little backpack and <laughs> still take a snack to school. Yes. And she's in the point right now where she's like a mini adult. Like yes. Yeah, she, yeah. she wants to do everything on her own and just kind of seeing those wheels turn in her head. Oh, it's so yeah. satisfying. I know. The only slash oldest child, they, um, they have their own way. For, for sure. sure. Yes. Like yes. they're. <laughs> and she's redheaded, so she's got a little fiery spirit <laughs> to go along with it. Yeah. So. That's fantastic. That's fun. Yeah. That's like my oldest daughter. She's like, like you said, a mini adult. Like she, and now with the little one, she's like a second mom. And it's kind of, it's hilarious to watch her, like try it. to be like my wife. It's so funny. Yeah. yeah. It cracks me up. Yeah. I, uh, I find myself, I love my kids. Uh, <laughs> my, my older one. He's exactly like me, uh, looks like me, acts like True. me, same jokes, everything. Uh, <laughs> and I find myself getting frustrated when he just like wants to go headlong into something when I would have done the exact, I do the exact same oh, yeah. thing. Uh, he was I, here yesterday. The, the, his yeah. boys were here yesterday yeah. and Josh would tell a dad joke and his son would come out and top the dad joke with another dad joke. And it was just like this never ending competition. <laughs> yeah. so. it's, and he's 12 now. So we're getting to the like preteen, you know, like, I mean, and, and, and it took me a long time as a parent, uh, probably, well, a lot of things take me a long time cause I'm not that bright. Um, but it took me a long time to uh, accept the fact that they're really, I mean, they are, they're my children, right? But they are, a hundred percent their own human beings yeah. and uh they their personalities come out in completely different ways and you know and uh watching that evolve is uh is uh exciting and terrifying all at the same yeah, time it is um, yeah, for sure. and i you know it, it's um 
you know, you don't get a, a manual when you become a parent. <laughs> um, and so it's all just like, see, I, I actually, I asked my dad before when Ben was a baby specifically, um, thinking about gun safety because we're a family of hunters you know we uh we deal with firearms and things like that yeah, and we've uh i've always it's just been ingrained in me you know you always treat a gun as if, it was, as if it was loaded you always point it in safe direction you know you don't play around with it things like that all the rules and so i asked my dad when ben was born you know how did you teach me that because i'm gonna have to teach it to my children and he just said i don't know i just I just taught you. Yeah. Like, that's not helpful. Right. I need a guide here because I don't know how to do this. And we've figured it out along the way. Yeah. My kids are responsible, thankfully. Um, but, uh, you know, there's no there's no way to prescribe it. It just Right. There's it just no goes. advice or anything that's just across the board for any such kid. I mean, I go to my mom all the time for advice about my daughter. And she's like, well, your daughter's a lot different than you are. And I'm like, oh, that's the right thing. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I remember when we left the hospital with Murphy, my wife was like, wow, they really just kind of just get you out of here. <laughs> just do this thing. Right. Good luck. <laughs> it's like kind of crazy, fun. but that's, they really do. Yeah. And then you just sort of figure it out. Yeah. That's the and best. then you raise kids in Pearland and they, they turn out all right. They turn out all right. <laughs> that's wild. That's crazy. Y'all are raising the future generation of Pearlanders, man. Whew. Yeah. Hard to believe. Exciting. Very exciting. <laughs> Um, so, um, uh, pop quiz, um, <laughs> travel or stay at home? Stay at home. Oh, it depends on the day. Okay. So me and my husband just bought a house. So mm. I, my immediate reaction is stay at home, but actually my personality is like, let's go on a vacation, probably somewhere tropical. Oh, okay. Cool. I was good. That was going to be my next question. Beach or mountains? Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Tropical Definitely beach. beach. Yes. Okay. Uh, coffee or tea? Coffee all oh. day, every day. All day, every day. Yes. Um, uh, I'm, I'm trying to think of more. I don't have any. I, I thought I had more. Uh, I know. I thought dogs or know. cats? Dogs. I'm actually allergic to cat dander. Mm. Pretty sure everybody's I allergic I think everybody to cats. is, yeah. Okay, yeah. cool. Yeah. <laughs> do you have a dog? I do not have a dog. Good. Yeah, don't get one. Uh, yeah. <laughs> give I it. a lot of work. Yeah, yeah. a lot of work. Uh, I just found out actually my cousin is breeding, um, uh, uh, oh, oh, Frenchies, French bulldogs. Oh, cool. Yeah. Uh, they're stinking adorable. <laughs> uh, but like, I, I, I don't need any, we don't need any dogs. Uh, hunting or fishing? Uh, okay. So I've never actually hunted before. And okay. I guess you could technically say that about fishing too, but I've gone with my dad to do both. Okay. It kind of just been his right hand. Yeah. Uh, woman. Uh, <laughs> and so, uh, but my most fondest memories with my dad are fishing. Fishing. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Salt water or fresh water? Uh, I think he's done like the, what is it? The brackish water? Like yeah. Yeah. Little like clear lake. Oh, yeah. 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 That's where he kind of. Okay. So somewhere in between. There you um, go. Yeah. Uh, favorite restaurant? In Pearland? Anywhere. Anywhere. Um, ooh, anywhere. Okay, my first initial reaction is the Cheesecake Factory because they have my favorite book, um, their menu. <laughs> um, so solid. That's a solid. good yeah. answer. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, I think the most underrated great restaurant apparently is Rap and Roll. Oh, it is. Okay, so what is the what is the uh, we should go eat there? The today. sriracha, the sweet, yeah. sweet sriracha chicken. Yes. Oh, oh, I tried that. oh my goodness! And their portions are insane. ridiculous. <laughs> oh yeah, ridiculous, insane. Uh, over off of Old Chocolate Bayou, right next to the police station. Yes, um, yeah. We we frequent that place. Anytime we end up on for meetings and stuff, yeah, that's we that's have our to spot. go over there for retirement today. <laughs> that's why I said we should make a stop. Heck yeah, spend the afternoon at, yeah. at PSB. Uh, anything else we should know about you? Anything that that we haven't talked about yet? Um, so my fun fact, besides Love me it. and my uh, husband having the same name, yeah. is I actually went to. Caroline High School with Meg Thee Stallion. Okay, That's yes. Right. I forgot about that. Yes. Um, okay, so explain. <laughs> yes. So she was a year younger than me. Um, okay. Not besties, but Meg, if you're listening to this, what's up, girl? Uh, <laughs> and, and uh, you know, we were in choir together. We were in child development together. That's so, so crazy. We had flower babies together. So what's a flower baby? Like 
like a sack of oh, 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 oh yes okay, okay, yeah, okay, yeah i remember that i thought it was like a hippie thing <laughs> 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 I don't know. Can I say that? Is that sure? Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and so we're pretty much like family. Yeah. Our no. Our totally. Children. That is so yeah. crazy. So did you know, or or was there like, is she one of those people, or is like, oh, she's going to be famous someday? She definitely had the personality yeah. for it. Just really. always on, ready to go. And then um, I didn't know this at the time, but her mom was actually a rapper in the area, and so I mean, what? Yeah, she's uh, from Third Ward, and so and right her, on. She moved here yeah. with her grandma, and uh, yeah, no. So That's so crazy. In the family. I mean, so at all. so, do y'all like have Thanksgiving, like a friendsgiving together, or are you? Uh, I know, uh, no, no, no. no. Uh, <laughs> really cool but she is a lot I mean, she's got a lot going on she's very famous has a lot of um i've amazing. always wondered like like i'm sure you have to talk to other people from your class and stuff and be like how crazy is that like yeah. you know like yeah. i've always been curious you know no for sure everybody talks about it all the time yeah. and it's you know they're like wow she's like famous and she did the thing and um even recently um she had like a friend out from Pearland. I saw a keep up with her on social media. <laughs> of course. And I was like, I know her too. Like, there's just so many, uh, yeah. you know, layers to, you know, kind of uh, like Kevin That's Bacon. Wow. Yeah. Stuff. Oh, yeah. Six yeah, degrees yeah. of <laughs> So, six degrees of Kevin Bacon. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, you think, does she ever come back? I mean, like, does she. So we should have her like Fourth of July celebration of freedom or something. Like. That would be amazing. I mean, she should. That I would mean, be really cool. Come back and play for the school or something. That yeah. would be so amazing. That would be cool. Yeah, yeah. that would be so so cool. Um, I haven't heard of her doing anything like that, but I think that she did just start like a foundation. Like mm. I said, I huh. keep up with um, yeah. you know her you social to. media, and so to. she's doing good stuff for um, I think the Houston community through that, mm. which is pretty awesome. So um, along those same lines, I mean, uh, you know, Houston's a big place. There's uh, got to be yeah. famous people around for sure. Right. Um, but uh, my wife and all her siblings went to the high school for performing and visual arts up in Houston. Yeah. Yes. Um, and one of their notable graduates was um, one of the doctors on Grey's Anatomy. Um, like one of the OG characters. Uh, I know that it was like. Oh. Nicknames for them. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. Doctor McDreamy and Doctor McSteamy, right? <laughs> uh, Are you, is that no, no, no. It was a lady. It was uh it was the one that was like super grouchy in like oh, the first yes. couple seasons. Yes, a shorter yeah, lady. Yeah. She was small, but like real bossy. Yeah. Oh, I know who you're talking about. I, I can't think of her name. I can't remember. Yeah. Anyways. The graduations, my brother-in-law's graduation, the sister-in-law's graduation, she was one of the keynote speakers. And every time it's like, that's she's cool. like here, yeah. she's famous and, that's you cool. know, such an inspiration for, like, I think uh, I, Houston generally is underrated, you oh, know, I, completely uh, agree with that. I think we get overlooked sure. for a lot of stuff and we're like, we're kind of a big deal. Yeah. Right? You know, like there's, there's a lot of, in Pearland too. I mean, like so much stuff happens yep. here. For sure. uh, and there's so much coolness around here. Yes. There's like so Meg Thee Stallion. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, look at us. God. I mean, oh, look at this podcast. I mean, it. <laughs> Tens of people listen to this That's podcast. Right. Yes. <laughs> no, there, it's That's more than that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Smash that like button. Um, that is so cool, though. So, uh, I mean, that's not, you know, Meg Thee Stallion, that's awesome. But Shelby on her own is, I mean, you're. She's all right. You're <laughs> superstar. Super. Well, get her autograph if you see her Lacasita. Yes, Try not sure. to bother her while she's eating her Lacasita special because her time is precious. <laughs> <laughs> um, if you see me at Lacasita, please step up. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, that is a good question. Are you, I guess you're a people person. Are you an E? I am. I'm an ENFP. Okay. Um, All right. I'm a true ENFP yeah. because I've tested that way ever since high school. So yeah, um, I would say I'm pretty extroverted. Nice. Um, yeah, I like talking to people, and I think that's one of the parts that I love about my job is that the interactions that I get to have with people, not only the different employees of Fairland, but also the citizens. And Heck yeah. yeah, that's. I think uh, I I might be an ENFP as well. Uh, we're talking Myers Briggs. Oh, yeah. uh, Types. I, I can't I, remember. I feel like mine changed this last. I need to go back and yeah. look at what the I most. Like ENFP whenever we did leak, uh, That's leadership yes. Leading, leading Pearland. Something. You did uh, leap leadership. leadership. Leap, yes. Y'all yep. did leap together. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. What? Yeah. yeah. Oh, crazy. Three ENFPs. 
Oh man, how about that? It, yeah, that's a that's a recipe it's a, for. It's a dangerous table right there. <laughs> that's a fun table right there. Oh um, man, no, I've always been uh, same. Like just I I so just this last week, <clears throat> my wife and I were in. Uh, well, the whole family was in Arkansas, and we're going shop to shop, <clears throat> and all she wanted to do was shop. You know, so she's like burning through stores, looking at stuff. And I stopped at every, and I met somebody at every single store. And I intentionally on the third one, because she kept leaving me behind because I was taking up way too much time talking to people. <laughs> and so I was like, okay, I'm not going to talk to anybody in this next one. And then I went in and somebody said hi. And I'm like, I got it. I, I yeah. need to know their whole life story. <laughs> now. Yes, and I met some fascinating people. So, uh, you know, we're, we're right there with you. Oh, yeah. Yes. Happy to sit down and have a conversation anytime. Right. Exactly. Uh, well, I think that pretty much covers it. We already covered your why. Like I said, we usually end with that, but we kind of yeah, we hit that, that early, early yeah. on. Um, so thank you for coming on the show. Thank we for having me. I really, really appreciate it. it. Uh, if it weren't for people like you, we wouldn't have great stuff like this. So um, thank you all for listening and we will see you next time. Bye. 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 All right. Here we go.